And here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's Weird Uncle XB. Coming at you yet again with some more control. So, uh, I did some work in the in-between. Uh, I went out and I scrubbed some mold for... Uh, for Ati, and I took care of some mold people for the crazy horrible lady down in the basement, whose name escapes me. I didn't think that it was interesting enough looking to to warrant uh, making its own video. It basically just involved going back to places where we have already been and uh, finding mobs based on mold patterns that led us to them and in Adi's case basically running around in circles down in the medical wing which we have well, we're, we've already been there and uh, finding puffy things stuck to the walls as a bug hunt. It took a little bit of time it was fun to play but I don't think it would have been especially interesting to watch seeing as how it's just basically going to places that we've already been and then running around in circles until we kill the right things. Give me just one moment. My very very small girl Olive is uh, asking for a little bit of attention. And because Olive is the best girl, she can have attention whenever she wants. Now, I figured that what we ought to do is get right back to the story, seeing as how my brother has been uh, sitting in here in the boardroom with Emily Pope. And uh, yeah, we haven't been back here in a while. There's some new actionables around. We're going to take a look. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. <coughs> a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. I see. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. That's dark. Because we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. Okay. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location's security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Salvador Lin was taken by the hiss. We had to put him down. He went rogue. Uh, he was standing between us and the Benikoff TV, as you'll recall. We already been in here? I think we have. I think we have. Hey, we have it. Look at that. Uh, what else I did also, um, <clears throat> I spent some time scrounging material. I have updated spin all the way up to uh, level three. I've also uh, leveled up grip to level three as well. And uh, for lack of anything really better, I put everything into headshot damage. So now this thing can one shot on a headshot, most things. And uh, yeah. let's see. America overnight results. Results Overview, the America Overnight Program. Summary, the America Overnight Program has operated successfully for over years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptic population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of and in the first year of its operation alone. So it, it let us know about specific things, I guess, or whatever. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate, in a separate report. Refer, refer to file for a full report. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we also found in the in-between a new file that I have not read yet. Process and Best Practices Panopticon Containment Procedures Proposal. Summary. 
This is by Frederick Langston, our sassy, sassy man. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I worked with these entities every day, and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. The items crave... If we initiated a series of praising the items, praising the items, or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of art, I guess art, pieces of art that could be visited throughout the bureau, I believe altered items would behave without needing, would behave without needing to resort to or which only leads to the items feeling mistreated. If we treat them like criminals, we can't be surprised when they try to escape. Well, that's well and good, Fred, but, um... <clears throat> These things have been eating my employees, so I think that's all. Yep, that is all for the moment. All right, so. <coughs> I'm sorry my voice sounds a bit hoarse. I still have the fucking COVID cough. It's a piece of shit. It sucks. Don't get COVID if you can avoid it. Um, <coughs> that's what's happening. This is something new. I think this has something to do with the... Uh, it is a coin... Possibly for the jukebox. It's a jukebox token, I see. So we know from the thing that we just listened to that the jukebox, the jukebox translocates. Oh my god, did she have to write everything? We're not really sure where it translocates to. I think it's related to DLC, honestly. I can't fly while I'm in here. That way is through to an active, uh, well, an active war zone, I guess. They're in there. There's a Reesh. We're going to talk to him in a moment. I just want to see if I can remember where the fucking uh, jukebox is. We'll deal with it later. It's not super important currently. I don't... I still don't know what the purpose of the uh, those radios are. When you turn them on, it doesn't really seem to do anything. Research and records. Pope's promotion. Review. And this is by, is his employee name is Dr. Pope, employee position. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Dr. Darling has personally recommended Ms. Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports for breakthroughs resulting for breakthroughs resulting from her work recommendation. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranormal concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Ms. Pope to the position of research specialist. Oh, good for you. I suppose we already knew that, though. Did we miss this? Nope, we did not. Okay. <clears throat> uh, when we turned in, turning in the... Uh, uh, the, uh, the the cleaning the water mess, cleaning the mold, uh, that automatically turned in, so uh, we didn't get to speak to Ati anymore. And turning in the uh, mold host's uh, bug hunt to uh, bitch lady downstairs, who's honestly kind of awesome and and kind of I don't know, man. That that kind of, I like that kind of character quite a bit. The uh, just just so incredibly arrogant to the point of completely apathetic to human life. It's a funny kind of character to me. I, I, I'm not gonna... Don't judge. Uh, technological restrictions. Oh, okay. So we're gonna find out a little bit more about why all of our tech here is uh, 30, 40 years out of date. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. Yeah, it is. Okay. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural for the oldest house to them. Similarly, these items have been known... Similarly, the, let me try that again. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the to occur. 
Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. <sighs> Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Refer to file 4 19 1935 for a full report. Okay, that was compiled by Dr. Carla Vaughn and Hubert Tan, research specialist by order of Casper Darling. Now, I had previously postulated that um, the reason why this stuff wasn't permitted was possibly because of uh, rogue AI like entities that might have been able to use that to effectively escape, but apparently it's just because it just f fucking doesn't work here. Neither do these radios. And it has been a while since I've been here. These doors didn't used to be open, I don't think. Or at least I hope not, otherwise it's been a while and I, I just, uh, yeah. Shifted bathroom complaint. Federal Bureau of Control, listen. I know you can't control building shifts, but executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. Again, I'm going to draw attention to the fact that what if someone was in that fucking restroom when it just sort of vanished and still is there? All right, um... This is something that apparently I found but did not read, possibly in, in between. Federal Bureau of Control, dementia research is going to change everything. Dimensional research is going to change everything. The work we do there will be brilliant, dangerous, and revolutionary, so we'll need staff that meet the challenge. So far, I'm considering Carla Vaughn, Lorenzo Dunn, Lorenzo Dunn, Hubert Tan, Edna Pierce, either Beth Harrington or Abe Lewis, if their departments can spare them for a bit. Emily... Being Emily Pope is an obvious choice, but who knows what will come out of the doorways we open. It's Perhaps it's better to keep her somewhere where the work is less unpredictable, but she won't like that. And there's no way she won't notice a secret re research... And there's no way she won't notice a secret new research department. Good God. Third time's the charm, and there's no way she won't notice a secret new research department. She's too sharp. Okay. So dimensional research is a place that we have not been able to get to yet. It is apparently on the other side of the ashtray maze. We tried that out much, much, much earlier and uh, got nowhere. It basically, it's a, uh, it's a maze sh that is shaped like a 1950s super swanky hotel that uh, infinitely recurses and constantly pushes me back in on myself. All right, so my brother is in there in that boardroom. Let's talk. Let's look around over here first to see if there's anything else. Yep, there is some stuff. Hey, that's the mold. Uh, television proposal. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment. In order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. <coughs> Excuse me. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranormal concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property, one particular property seems promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what, what we are looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. I feel like that's probably a reference to something, but I don't know what it is. One thing that I am going to say, one of the DLC in this game is... Oh, hey. Oh, that's really cool. You can see the, uh, the, the message. Yeah. Neat. Um, <clears throat> the makers of this game also made a game series called Alan Wake, which was a sort of a survival horror kind of game that uh, was... Very, very, very heavily influenced by the works of Stephen King. I was not a huge fan. I'm not going to say too much more about it because it's not necessary. Uh, I tried it out. It wasn't for me. <coughs> One of the DLCs includes a tremendous amount of direct references to Alan Wake. So it's possible that this is part of that. So how's it looking out there? How are you doing, Arish? How's it looking by you? I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places. Like bad things. <coughs> the rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? 
Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Oh, God. Come to think of it, the song should have rung back hours ago. Oh. I can go in and take a look. Okay. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. I see. Well, we have limited numbers. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. We have limited numbers of hey, those jukeboxes. Up. Okay. Can be constructed at control points or earned throughout Bureau alerts, Bureau countermeasures, uh, expeditions, and delete and defeating elite enemies. Okay. So what it is is a, uh, a special special bonus combat encounters. Something probably it's going to help us get. Oh, yeah. uh, oh he still has uh, shit to say. Looks like. All right. Um, <clears throat> It's something I'll deal with later. I'll I'll try one out and see if it's worth uh, showing off. Uh, I have one of Langston's runaways left to do. Uh, I'm going to say you're welcome for skipping over, uh, showing you some of these. The uh, f getting the the uh, the moving letters and the rubber duck was more fortunately tedious than actually fun. You had to sort of chase it around in circles before it finally tired itself out. Although the duck was, I mean, it's its the rubber duck. It's the duck that they interrogated. It's, uh, it's alive. And it quacks. Uh, that notwithstanding, the other one, uh, moving letters, is basically you just sort of have to stand in a spot and throw rocks at a letter until it finally comes back around to you. Um, the only one that is left is the Runaways, which is an area that we can't get to. So, we're going to go... We're going to go with the face of the enemy. We're going to speak to, uh, Emily, but first... I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Hmm. Good for you. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There were six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Oh, they're all dead. Nothing protecting them from the hiss. Yeah, they're so all they dead. I'm sorry. Worse, but I think that we're already past that. Yes, they are. We all wore these pouches around our neck. And I really don't want the hiss to get him. A grouch bag? Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. Okay, I'll another keep an bug eye hunt. Out for them, <clears throat> and I won't let them stay hiss. Okay. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <coughs> Fuck that, codes, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. You don't Still, say. At least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. Salvador's dead. I'm sorry, dear. I'm I'm really sorry. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh He's been acting a little bit psycho recently. <laughs> Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? I'm pretty sure he could still be a lot of help. He's just crazy. You're security, right? Do you work with rangers? <clears throat> not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retired due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Mm -hmm. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples. 
I measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down to maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats my black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. Well, thanks for telling me anyway. <clears throat> what do you think of Marshall? Marshall? Marshall's a fucking badass. The Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. She specifically mentioned that she was going to go to an undisclosed location to check up on a thing that the Hiss could not get. I guess we're going to find out what that is later. All right, uh, that's everything. I, I want to point out that Me too. Uh, Arish over here busy, you know. <clears throat> is the latest in a long and proud line of video game security guards who are just such regular guys. They're so relatable and they're so sweet and friendly and just all in to try to help you do your shit that uh, <clears throat> I just hope he, I just, I don't want him to die. I hope he doesn't die. I, I Rish, I hope you don't fucking die. If I have to kill you, I'll be very upset. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's go check in on Emily Pope and my brother. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the his signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? Good question. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Yep. All right, so there's some new shit. Wow, there's a lot of new shit around in the room. All right, um, before I proceed, let's see. Do you have anything new to tell me? Hi, Jesse. Nope. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. I bet you will. That wasn't a slur against you, just I hope you enjoy your data. Timeline of events. Compiled by Emily Pope by the order of director Jesse Faden. To examine, summary, to examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of the lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. I see. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer, how did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does the Hiss resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Refer to for a full report. Okay. Just more questions. Just more questions. Linguistic ability. <clears throat> <coughs> Again, I apologize for coughing. <clears throat> Don't get COVID. It sucks. Analysis of his threat part two. Uh, but right next to this must be part one. All right. Uh, researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeating string of words? 
Is this how the corru- is this how the hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message, an incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio record. Refer to file for a full report. That audio record around somewhere. Can we hear it? Speech analysis. Oh, analysis of hiss threat part three. If we understand the hiss to be force ba- to be a f- Try that again. If we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. These are things that the hiss, uh, what do I call them? The hiss individuals, the hiss infected. Uh, Are we the you the hiss are referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-hiss life, wants to join it, to be consumed by it? Is that its goal? Second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here, or an indication of its age? There is clear in, there is clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Refer to for a full report. Compiled by Emily Pope, at the behest of me. Okay, well, that's real fucked up. All right. Let's go see Dylan. They're endangering us by bringing a hiss at you. If Trench was still around, he would have stopped us. Trench was part of the same shadowy group responsible for every disaster this country has ever seen. Okay. Okay. You are a worm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the fingers through the surface into the white. You've always been a mirror. You walk us to patrol. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time. The okay. distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the inverted is made right. Can't fly in here. There's nothing else to do in this room. I hate this. Here we go. You are a warm through time. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan. Faden's sister. Uh oh. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. <laughs> Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. Uh oh. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Oh, God. Through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be true. that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Oh, God. Don't you want to say them, too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! It's reacting to Polaris. You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop copy. it! Orange peel. Shit. Shit. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister. When we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. Ah, oh, shit. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. 
and she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. Look at me. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. Fuck me. Okay. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. And your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. Yeah, I know. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide warm. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. Uh, I have the key card to get you there. See. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Yeah. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a warm through time. You are a warm through time. The thunderstorm distorts you. Happiness comes with white curls, but yellow and red in I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Neither am I. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Looking Off to a good start? Yep. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me brought me back here, locked me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. Don't you find that weird? Uh, not really, not I really. I find that weird. Oh. Sure. The hell was that? <laughs> Is he trying to mess with me? You are a warm through All right. The thunder distorts you. There's still more to talk to him about. I don't want to. Oh God. Maybe Dylan's still in there. No, he's not. Maybe no, there's a way is. to reach him. Probably not, though. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Yeah. Dylan. Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again. I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here, so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice, really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. 
The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or maybe it was another dream already. Or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. <laughs> you are a worm through There's still more fucked up things I can hear from my brother. All right, let's go. Lay it on me. Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. I doubt it. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Another one? Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Ugh. That's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. I see. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, I'm taking this as confirmation okay. that the hiss is Thanks an existential for threat. It. For the record, I mean, we already knew that, that will never happen. Yeah. We as already as knew that. Alive. The Christ, more? I want to go. I don't want to keep yeah. doing this. I want to go. Maybe I'm just here to punish myself. Yep. Seems likely. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. <laughs> I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. Okay. And he told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other. Some inside of others. In one world... There was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Doris said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't. Liked the idea. What did he know? I'm not wild about the idea myself. Yeah. Oh God! I'll do one more. I'll do one more. There's only so much of this I can take. Here we go again. Yeah. Once more with feeling. Yeah. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Oh, that's new. In this dream, I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. Let's see. This very dream! 
He said just now. And repeated it again now. Oh, God. I'm standing there and watching, and that's all I can do. It's as if I'm trapped there. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. Is he still in there? I... Or is this the hiss playing mind games? That's a very good question. And honestly, I think the answer is probably doesn't matter. That's it? That's everything. Alright. Let's get the fuck away from this. So I think the answer is probably that it doesn't fucking matter if he's in there or not. Among the things that he, among the things that he said point blank is that he is actively looking for means of bringing his uh, extra dimensional viral invasion force to as many facets of a potential multiverse as possible, and uh, yeah, so that is a uh, that is just a straight up existential threat. Against literally anything. Oh, jukebox tokens. Okay, we can make jukebox jukebox tokens here for just source. That's fine. So it's not it's not really a finite resource. I get it. All right. Uh, and in order to upgrade, wow! In order to upgrade Pierce, we need a lot. Remote thoughts, untapped potential, corrupted sample. I know corrupted sample will only drop off of mold people. I'll need one more of those. Remote thought, I'm not sure where that comes from. Untapped potential, I'm not sure where that comes from. But we got plenty of house memory. All right, well, let's... Uh... All right, so uh, I have maxed out launch. I have maxed out levitate. I am right now saving up to get multi-launch. That is my next purchase. After that, I'm going to split my purchases between health and energy, get that all the way up to the top. And then, you know, I'll consider what we do next. In the meantime, we're getting to security, I think. Yeah, logistics. I will say that I've noticed that there are quite a number of uh, uh, OSIS. Security clearance 06 doors around. Once I get that, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a moment to uh, run around and uh, open up some doors. In the meantime, in the meantime, I don't know if that's what's happened here. I see it, Polaris. I saw the flash. There's someone coming. Whoa! Alright. I think it's one of the invisible assholes, but I can't be sure. Ah. There. 
Oh, I got a jukebox token, a jukebox token. All right. That's where I'm heading. I haven't been able to get in there because it's an 06. Do I suddenly have that? I have that clearance now. Okay, so there's a number of things, there's a number of places where I can go. Mirror supplement. Apparently, okay. Uh, Victorian mirror uh, altered item six zero dash U E. She was she was admitted to a mental ward for her emotional for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in a local library contained it quickly, though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Oh, Jesus. Supplementary materials, date August 18th, 1915. Certify that the case of Mrs. has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Oh my fucking God. <clears throat> so that's obviously, that's, that's, oh God. Her fixation with the family looking glasses noteworthy though not in an uncommon manner matter when considering the female disposition miss carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed signed dr 18th century fucko that's fun okay so there was an actual altered world event an altered item caused a bunch of shit to happen and uh Victorian doctors did what they do. All right, so this is the prime candidate program. To find new prime candidates, the Bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P7? P7? Am I P7? happened to the walls. Great. Alright, I need to get this thing fucking dead. There. Okay. Whoop! Is it not dead yet? It's not dead yet. Shit. Fuck. Alright, the healing thing is still alive, and it's dangerous for me to get in there. I'm gonna see if I can lure him into the hallway. Away from it. Where the fuck is it? Shit. I kill the weenies at least. Theoretically. Thoughts, huh? Read this. Is that it? Is that everyone? 
think that's up there. I don't see anyone else, at least. Alright, so let's take a look at what the fuck has happened here. Um. Okay. Oh, this game is so fucking cool. Um. That's the last of Langstrom's runaways. At least this batch of rank Langstrom's. Langstrom's runaways. Bright Falls Supplement. Ah, okay. So, this is more Alan Wake stuff. Uh, Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during a bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals are still missing after the Bright Falls event. Our FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman refer to the creator's dilemma and the file RE, Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau Research believe this event was the result of forceful perception of subject reality uh, stemming from Mr. Wake overlapping our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential power utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Program for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes, a monitoring station was established in Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Unfortunately, a lot of that really just goes right over my head because I did not finish Alan Wake and I did not play the, uh, the, the sequel. It just, I, I wasn't super into it. Anything creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. I see. Oh, I see. So we have to find the correct mannequin. This is the last, uh, at least for this batch, this is the last of the uh, 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 altered items that uh, sassy baskets. Frederick Langstrom, Frederick Langstrom sent us after our sassiest employee. Actually, I don't know. I think Mold Lady might take the cake for sassiest at this point. Ooh. Okay, I'll take another headshot boost. Yeah. All right. As long as I can nail a headshot, which I can't always because my aim is amazing, but as long as I can nail a headshot, this thing does crazy, crazy damage now. I don't think that's right. I think it's just going to be in this room. So! Jesus Christ. Ah. things? No, I can't. I guess I just have to find the right one. Huh. Oh, self-reflection. That's the mirror and synchronicity. That is uh, another place where we can go to. It's another place that we can go to now that we can... Uh... Give me a moment. Try to contain this mannequin here. Um, we can go after that mirror now. It's in uh, uh, it's in synchronicity. It was one of those things that uh, uh, Glarus was trying to point us towards, but we couldn't get because we just didn't have the clearance. Now we figure out what the fuck is going on with this here goddamn mannequin. Why can't things just be simple?
again, and I've said this so many times, people just fucking work here. Look at this. Look at all of the, the records and files in this room are, are potentially irreplaceable. I mean, what do we do with this? What happens to this room if this room is just... Oh, okay. I see one. There we go. No more mannequins. Okay. So we got that. Closed cases. All right. That's a shortcut back, I'm going to assume. Yep, it is. All right. I might go after that mirror. I might take a, 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 a side trip. We'll I wish see. things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Mission won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. But well, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. I see. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. I see. It's remarkable. Okay, so. Oh, more? There's more? Uh oh. There was an incident. Yes. Uh oh. He's drawn P6 over his serial killer wall. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Who are you talking about specifically? This is force. Dylan has so much. But he's... he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. I think you deserve the blame, probably. some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Oh, no. Did Dylan murder someone? He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Oh, God. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. Oh, no. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple of things very quickly. As we pointed out last time, Northmore is uh, Broderick Northmore, the first, the first uh, potentially is Broderick Northmore, the first director of the Bureau of Control, which uh, Lethe Soda pointed out to me is that's definitely the person in the. Uh, that's powering the entire facility. He just kept on apparently gaining more and more and more power, and now they're talking about like humane containment where we can also benefit from the energy that he is radiating. The fuck is that? So our brother is potentially a second Northmore. Dylan Faden transcript. Transcript of conversation uh, for review by Dr. Darling. Note, subject was alone during this outburst. DF. Okay. So this is all going to take place 1752 between the seconds of 16 and 53. Uh, Dylan Faden, you again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Okay, so it's Polaris. It's Polaris is trying to talk to him. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck numerous times before being sedated at 1753. Okay. Intense. P6 victim autopsy. Agent killed during involving Dylan Faden, codename P6. Autopsy findings. This is what uh, uh, Darling was literally just talking about. 
Blunt force injuries to the head and neck. Extensive trauma to the abdominal region, including lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal column between the L2 and L3 vertebrae. That's uh, uh, lumbar spine. Uh, low, that's uh, uh, the low, low back, low back. Um, between your your hips and uh, your where your rib cage begins, so L two and L three that's L one and L two that's that's uh, oh I don't remember if it's if that's right down by your pelvis or if it's it doesn't fucking matter it's low back low back avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right blunt force injuries to the extremities uh, including abrasions lacerations and contusions to the extremities dislocation of left and right elbow dislocation of left and right knee after examination it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the was contorted through his so Dylan basically folded this person up like an origami swan he just crushed this person we can do that that's 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 well within our power set we are able to do that is this what Dylan wanted me to see it doesn't matter we need to find that projector that's me. They've been following me. Is that me homeless on a bench? That's me homeless on a bench. Oops. I'm outside of something called coffee soap. I once went to a place called coffee soap. Interesting. So this is me working as a janitor. I did mention that I'd worked as a janitor. This is me shoplifting food. This is me uh, trying to keep my backpack from being stolen. And urgent, 9.31 a.m., I was outside coffee soap. That's me. It's me petting a dog. Oh, good dog. It's me talking to a little girl. And getting on a bus destination? Don't know. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. I see. Yep. Jesse Faden movement tracking. Oh, for fuck's sake. So between 924 2019 and 929 2019. Eastward movement cause for concern. I departed Cheyenne, Wyoming, and arrived in Sydney, uh, Nebraska on the 24th and the 25th. I departed Sydney, Nebraska, and arrived in Des Moines, Iowa on the 26th of uh, September. On the th September 30th, I departed Des Moines, Iowa, and arrived in Chicago, Illinois on the uh, 1st of October. I departed Chicago on the 8th of October, hung out in Chicago for a while, good call, uh, and arrived in South Bend, Indiana on the 8th, same day of October. On the 11th of October, I departed South Bend and arrived in Cleveland, Ohio the same day. On the 19th, you know something? I, I don't blame you. Cleveland, Ohio, I went there with my wife. And you know something? Cleveland is kind of a fucking nice city. Like, it's pretty cool. They have an amazing art museum that we spent days in. It was great. You know, I don't, I don't so I'm just saying, I don't blame you. Also, we found this amazing Korean bakery that's like, we, we've been discussing taking the five hour drive four-hour drive just to get back to this one Korean bakery in in uh, in Cleveland and just buy out all of their buns. So, you know, I, I'm just saying, you know, she spent eight days in Cleveland. I don't blame her for spending eight days in Cleveland. People make fun of Cleveland, but Cleveland is a pretty fucking good city. Uh, she departed Cleveland on the 19th, probably got some buns. On the 20th, she arrived in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, Deri left Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania on the 29th. I don't know anything about Bloomsburg. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't have anything to say about that. And arrived in New York City on the 29th. And that is probably when we started this game. We used to play there all the time. Uh-oh. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. I see. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. 
Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Mm. No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Huh. Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. She's a That's terrible so psychiatrist. She's on. just asking questions without waiting with for this. answers. Nothing. The slide projector She's let also... me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting, you know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there. She's talking about Arian, though. Your parents. I don't. I. I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so it's very clear that that psychiatrist was either directly in the employ of the FBC or... No, no, it was directly in the employ of the FBC. It's really the only way to... It's really the only way to view that. All right, so where are we? We're in the prime candidate program. I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Oh, boy. All right. I know the door was right there, I don't care. This is all really fucked up. Work chat, dead dog. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? I say a third time. What the fuck? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. That was just my, uh... My little buddy. Dropping dead. Alright, looks like there's some shit in there. Let's take a look. Before we do that... Plenty of remote thoughts. That's nice. Ah, prime can or right, transit corridor is down below. And that's right there. Okay. Before I go down that elevator, let's see what's through this door. Nothing. Well, yes, yeah, something, but it's a, at least a locked door. I mean a, a closed room. There isn't more to explore. Once I get to the next control point, I'm going to take a detour, check out that, uh, uh... WHOA! Dirty fucking pool, control. Dirty fucking pool. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different one, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or... Is all this, the house and being the director, just another cell? Who's really in charge here?
they clutch it up. Ah. That's what I want. This still unfucks rooms to a degree. I'll never get tired of seeing that. NYC Subway. We're going back home. NYC Subway. Of course we are. It started there and it's never gone away. Let's see. Anything else around in this room? I think I'm going to take a detour to that mirror. Uh... Oh. Oh, okay. I can't. Nope, okay. Looks like this is a place I'm going to come back to to clean up some uh, mold. Also, it's way too quiet in here, so I am fully anticipating that there are going to be some zombies before I get through this door. Are there? Nope. All right, just gonna let me walk in and out then. Okay. Good on you. Okay. Got another seize accelerator. Let's see if it's faster than the one we already have. It is not. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll come back and clean that up when I'm not filming. Uh, type written page supplement. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> Appendix, text, transcribed from the item. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they are all the same. It's a hideous trap, my every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure that I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That alone, that thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion, falls, bright falls, haunting, wake, Alan Wake. There we go. Light switch, ocean, end, too late. In the final sentence, you've been warned. Okay. Dear viewer, if you are into Alan Wake, I apologize for my uh, uh, unenthusiasm. I I'm, I'm... My memories of the a Alan Wake portions of this game are, uh, they were okay. The DLC had, uh, again, okay, so I did play this uh, uh, when it first came out. My memory is shit, so a lot of my reactions to, to things are absolutely genuine, because I legitimately don't remember. I remember uh, certain, I remember certain major plot points, I remember certain major encounters. Um, <clears throat> And I remember we did the, uh, uh, I did the, the, well, I say we, it was my, me and my wife, we did the, the DLC. And it was, it was fine. It was fine. I mean, like, it was the, 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 the story behind the DLC didn't really float my boat so much, I didn't really care about it, but the, uh, cause it, it's, oh, this is, we used to yeah, okay. all the time. That's exactly where I just came from. And what is this? Well. Oh, I got an outfit! I got myself an outfit. Anyway, it, it's, uh, as I recall, I don't know if I'm going to be doing it for this Let's Play. I probably will, but I don't know. It, it's, as I recall, it was, um, 
a series of pretty interesting combat encounters that mostly involved playing around with lights and a really, really scary monster. But the storyline was based very heavily in Alan Wake and a lot of references to Alan Wake that flew right the fuck over my head. And uh, I mean, I, I didn't really, I mean, like, it, it's, it, it kept on bringing up names and characters that it felt were supposed to have a lot of impact but unfortunately didn't because I, I had no idea who any of these characters were. It's unfortunate, but uh, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. We'll get there when we get there. Uh, in the meantime, let's upgrade this to just straight damage. Yeah, 51% damage boost. I'm into that. This, the grip has become absolutely my bread and butter, and I am going to embrace that. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to... Uh, First of all, let's return to Langston, get his runaways back. Then I'm going to uh, locate the mirror in synchronicity, take care of that, and I think that's going to be it for this one. So to begin with, let's go uh, Panopticon Entrance. Entrance? One. What's up, Sassy, Sassy Pants? Theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey for this. Oh my God, your priorities are extraordinary. Every altered item on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? <laughs> The flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Or a different... Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but that's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. <laughs> you smug shit. <laughs> I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be. I told Salvador it was there. Oh. All right. So, all right. We now can multi-launch. Hold and launch. Hold and launch up to three items. So let's see how that works. Uh, while using launch. Okay. I'm I'm pretty excited about this. All right. So it takes a lot of it takes a lot of energy to do this. However, <clears throat> my energy regen is uh, beginning immediately and that's fantastic. Look at that. I'm already back up to full energy. Okay, I'm excited about that. Let's uh uh Let's take that little side note. Let's locate the mirror in synchronicity because that's one of the places where I wanted to get to anyway. Where is synchronicity lab? Is in ritual division. There we are. This is one of the things that I, I that I had wanted to do because, if I recall this correctly, and I might not, this might be another uh, this might be another outfit reward. I think. I think. But we'll see. All right. Synchronicity Lab is just straight up through here. I feel like this statue is kind of in poor taste, considering...
Oh. Interesting. Find a way into the containment cell. Mirror altered item. Uh, okay, altered item 60, aka the mirror. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? Okay, so the mirror is... Uh, okay. If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that entered it? Ooh. Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is... I'm going to assume that means directly hostile, but all right. Refer to file 5-12-8251 for any full report. All right, so it's puzzle time. Closed. What a weird way to lock something up. Interesting. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Fish? Wait, that didn't sound right. No, it sure didn't, because we're in Yeah, that's not good. Okay, well, my powers still work. What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Say that again? Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror. Uh, okay, so... I feel like if we go outside of this, we're going to find the other side of this conversation where Hardy is uh, trying to warn us that there's a monster in the mirror and uh, that person is not able to... I see. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. Uh oh. Well, shit. That's not good. There. Did I already fuck her up? Nope. Where is she? Where is she? Up there. Another one? That's what I was trying to do. Uh-oh. 
Where'd she go? Fuck me. Alright. Whoa! Fuck you and yours. That explains why they locked this mirror up. You think? I wonder what the Bureau was doing with this thing. is gone. It's dealt with. So, let's take a look. Uh, candidate P7 suit. Uh, it, oh, great. Just perfect for lazy nights on the couch, watching Netflix with the cats. Just chilling. No, it looks like I did not get, uh, I did not get anything new. I just got the, uh, the candidate P7. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and put this into health. And I am going to uh, pack it in for the moment. Thank you very much for coming along if you came along. I love you all. You have a great day. And uh, be good to yourselves, be good to other people, and call your mom. Good night, everybody.